Hallo. Hallo. Um, well, still no one watching. No one watching. Let's see. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh. Oh. Oh, suddenly. Oh, three of you. Hello. <laughs> um, David um, and, and um, Jane, Bella. Can't see you. Um, oh, the n name is coming up now. Hello, everyone. Um, good evening. Um, welcome back. Um, <laughs> I feel like I'm a bit um, addicted. Um, hello, Julia. Um, lovely to see you here. Um, hello, good evening. Hello, Mark. Mark from Colchester. Um, hello, Bella. Um, are you still um, suffering from um, <laughs> jet lag? Um, hello, Sharon. Good evening. Um, yes, now I think I just noticed that people are now um, beginning to um, call me Father T. Um, <laughs> that was actually my, um, my nickname in Colchester. Um, everybody um, in Colchester used to call me uh, Father T. Um, hello, Jane and Ronnie. Hello. Um, glad to see you all. Um, yes. Um, unless you say, um, unless you leave your comment. Hello, Karen. Yes, uh, Karen. Um, yes, um, Karen, especially for you. Yes, we got the date. I'm still working on your um, the wedding date because we fixed the date um, um, for a Karen. Um, and we had to change the, you know, the date. So I hope um, you know, everything will be fine in the future. Um, Becky is here and uh, Teresa is here. Hello, Teresa. Um, Teresa is um, the twin sister of um, the Ronnie. So if you see uh, someone is walking on the street, and um, if you just wow, do that, and then that, pe that person, that lady says like this, that is not Ronnie, that's a Teresa. Um, hello, um, and David is here and Penny is here. Well. Um, I, I think it is kind of, it became some sort of, you know, the pattern. Um, hello, I'm Kate and, and Janice, um, Faith Lee. Hello, good to see you. Um, I think um, the last um, the two, um, two days, and I came with my mug, because um, inside the church is quite cold at this time of day. Um, and then um, I had to come to the church a bit earlier than usual. Um, so I decided to use this mug. It's not ordinary mug. This is from Starbucks. Yeah, can you see that? Starbucks. But personally, I'm not a big fan of, you know, Starbucks. Um, uh, well, I, I don't know. I prefer um, a Cafe Nero. Or um, if there is a um, the choice in between the Starbucks and a McDonald's, um, probably I will go for a McDonald's coffee. Well, that's me. But um, I don't know. But if you are a big fan of Starbucks, I'm having this Starbucks, um, you know, the mug. Um, it's an insulated cup. Um, that's not mine, actually. It belongs to um, it belongs to my younger brother, and I do have, um, you know, a couple of um, his, you know, um, belongings here in um, in the vicarage. So this is one of them. But this is a great um, piece of kit for me um, to do a um, um, to take it with me for a fishing. <laughs> it's nice. Um, this is, it's really funny things. Um, I, I feel like, and I have to mention this um, to all of you. Um, f last Sunday, um, the Mothering Sunday, was our first day, first trial to do the live streaming um, on the Facebook. On Sunday Mass, we, uh, we did um, the live streaming, and the videos is somewhere in our page, and that number... Um, gone up to now 636. It says uh, 636 people reached. And then the, I checked the numbers, um, you know, 15 minutes before this live streaming, um, you know, um, and it began. And then I think 606, um, it's not a huge number, but I think it's, it's quite encouraging. And also my first, um, the thoughts for the night streaming, um, the number is gone up to the 383. And that was um, my first time to do this, you know, um, the thoughts for the night. And I think that was, um, that was brilliant. Um, it was a bit emotional for me, 
and then I had no idea about what I'm doing. I still don't know what I'm doing. Um, yeah, but 383, that was okay. That was, well, not okay, it's good. Yeah, good. Um, the second and um, the thoughts for the night, which was um, last night, this time last night. Um, hello, I'm Carol, Vicky, Mark Lee, yeah, yeah, Gemma, Dean, welcome. And then last, um, but yesterday, this time last night, uh, immediately after this streaming, I checked the numbers, and then the number was nearly 280. I was really surprised. And then the final number that I counted was 550, well, no, no, 518. 518 people reached. I think this is, um, this is um, you know, the power of, um, of media, I should say. Um, I'm not um, a big fan of, let's say, to be fair, maybe that's because of my churchmanship. Um, I, I still prefer to hold um, the, my hymn book rather than um, watching um, you know, the big screen. Um, if you are okay with that, that's okay. I think it's just personal preferences, but I think in my, my taste, I prefer to hold a book. So um, I, I love technology. Um, I love um, the new gadgets, but I don't, I don't like to spend um, you know, big money on them. A, I don't have enough money to buy lovely, shiny mobile phones. And then B, if I had enough money, probably I would go to the Angling Direct and buy a new fishing rod. So but that's me. So, um, but this is, I think this is encouraging. Um, someone asked me, um, you know, um, a couple of days ago when I shared this idea of doing some thoughts for the night, apart from um, the Saturday, well, uh, my plan is still going throughout the whole week. Sometimes I would like to invite um, some other people. I may ask Father Vince to do uh, once, or I may invite someone for this, um, you know, thoughts for the night streaming. But the purpose of this streaming is for me to support you and support me as well. Well, let's, to be honest with you, if I do this, I'm enjoying this, last two days, this is a third time already, I'm enjoying it. I kind of hooked up and, and um, I can't stop thinking about what I'm going to say, what I'm going to do um, for this, you know, um, the thoughts for the night streaming. So I think um, it's huge encouragement for me to see um, 518. I know you may say, well, comparing to other big churches, um, you know, they have, um, there are some churches who are um, a priest doing um, morning and evening prayer, uh, special, you know, prayer sessions. Well, let's say the Archbishop of Canterbury had a you know, three millions, you know, something like that. But I don't really do care about that numbers, but I do care of our number is growing. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, I'm not really hooked up with the number itself, but I want, I'm so happy because I can see the number is growing. And I hope that you can feel the same way. Although each one of us, all of us together, you may don't know that person. You may don't know this person. You know, that's inevitable. And some of you are living in this area, Freezy Water, Enfield, but some of you may live in um, far away. Who knows? One of you may be um, watching something from well, Australia. Who knows? Because um, once we finish this you know, streaming, we save this video, and then that will stay in our church post. So... It's widespreading, but I love to see we share the sense of hope and joy in this um, you know, difficult moment. Not only in the UK, but this problem is, is, is everywhere. So I hope, you know, this, you know, the short streaming, oh my gosh, my hands is a bit cold, um, can help you to feel better and then... Um, you know, um, you may be able to have some energy to go out and live. Not, no, not, don't, no, 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 no. <laughs> don't take it in that way. Um, you know, to live your life um, um, as usual, as usual. Because, you know, we, we know that. We, uh, don't say anything, don't say anything. Um, I didn't say, I, I want you to go out of your house. No, 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 not that one. But you see what I mean. 
So um, today, as you saw, some of you must have seen um, that line, Thoughts for the Night, and then with a special guest. I know it's very interesting, and as some of you um, may have a big you know, smile on your face. Yeah? A special guest for tonight? What, what is he going to do now? You may feel in that way. And then, um, as you know, I have to keep some, um, you know, the distance, um, you know, we have to keep, you know, the safe distance of two meters. So, um, while I'm having my guest here in front of my mobile phone, I won't be able to be here in this, you know, the same screen. So, I'm going to ask you to, to count ten, okay? And then, um, it, because this is a special guest, I decided to, um, um, to welcome um, this guest um, you know, properly. That's what we do in St. George's Church. So I'm going to um, play a bit of music to welcome him. So while I'm playing the, the, um, uh, the music, and I'll, I'll just step aside, and then you are going to count um, one to ten. But don't count. Oh, I want to see um, the guest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. No, no, it's too fast. So, slowly, just normal speed, please count one, two, ten. Okay? Are you ready now? Are you ready? Okay. Now, I'm going to play the music, and then I'll count ten. Ready? Good. bit of technical problems. Wait there, wait there. Okay. Um, I switched on this, um, you know, MP3 player, and I think it's just a switched off automatically. Sorry, technical problems. Oh. Introduce myself. My name was Anakin Skywalker, and now people call me Darth Vader. I came from Galaxy to tell you the secret. This is the old Jedi trick. We, the good Jedis, we use this trick to win the war. The trick is simple. We see human being and we see the weakness of their heart. And we bring the sense of pain, fear, and isolation. We make them feel lonely. This is how we trick people's mind. Now tonight, I'm going to tell you one thing before I go. To win this trick, you must have strength in your heart. Stand firm and keep faith. 
and then you will win this war. And listen to Prime Minister. Don't go out. Stay at home. And keep calm. Drink tea or coffee. And read the book. When you finish the book, you may watch Star Wars from the beginning to the end. Dear Jedi friends, boys and girls, young and old, may the Force be with you. Now I need to go back to the galaxy because I have to self-isolate it myself. As you know, I am quite famous on this planet. I was shaking hands, talking to the people, hugging, taking millions of millions of selfies. And I didn't know that this coronavirus can stay alive on the surface of metal or plastic like this. And I know, many of you will know, I do have symptom. Short of breath. <sighs> Therefore, I am going back to my home to stay there, in the galaxy. But I will keep you in my thought. May the good force be with you. What an extraordinary guest we had! Gosh, I really want to baptize him. Gosh, or bring him to the confirmation. Gosh, lovely, lovely. Um, oh gosh, I look quite bulky. But anyway, um, yes, yes. Um, I think there was um, um, nothing much for me to reflect um, on theologically, but I think that practically. Um, there is a something that we can um, remember, you know, the fear and then, um, you know, being lonely because we easily now can say that, okay, well, I'm, I'm isolated. You know, it, it physically, yes, yes, that's true. But the purpose, as I said earlier at the beginning of this, you know, the video, um, or the live streaming, I'm sorry, um, the purpose of this, um, you know, thoughts for the day is for us to feel that we are all connected, not necessarily um, between you and me, yeah, but all of us here now logged on and watching this live video, we are all connected, and then you don't need to feel lonely and isolated. I think that makes a big, big, big difference. And then I want you, I really hope that I can make you laugh in a way. Not only have a you know, deep theological you know, thoughts and reflections and then well, give you a perfect um, you know, 10 out of 10 sermon. Well, I'm not very good at doing that. And you know. I can drink a lot, but you know, that's not me. So... Um, I will do my best um, to make you feel happier, to make you feel um, better, in a way. 
and then that may give you a bit of chance to have a better life tomorrow. Well, when I was a little boy, um, I'm sure you will agree with me. When I was a little boy, if we go to um, the school trip or something, and then I used to wake up very early in the morning. My mom never woke me up. I, I, I woke up like that. Well, because of the expectations in my brain, I know that, okay, the tomorrow, something nice thing is happening. Yes, yes, well, and, and oh, yeah, go to bed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like a children on the Christmas morning, you know, I don't need to wake Stephen up on that morning because he will wake up because it's a good thing. And then Christmas Eve, in his brain, I'm sure, it's all about Christmas gift and then the joy and the excitement. And then that was in his brain throughout the whole night. And then that actually is what made him feel strong and energetic early in the morning. I'm sure you will understand this. But I do remember one particular day. It was awful, awful, awful in my life. The day when I was going into the army. Ah, oh, that morning was awful. I felt so tired, so stressed, so nervous, because the Korean army is, is, yeah, is ooh, like that. So um, I still remember that. So if, you, if I can give you some laugh at this time of the day, or if I can give you, if we can share some message of hope and joy and excitement, of course, you know, tomorrow, whatever we do now, tomorrow will be exactly the same. But at least we may be able to have the better mindset for the tomorrow. I'm sure that is what our guest was speaking about. You know, good force. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I, I love Star Wars. Um, so, um, I, I want to, um, you know, see that you and I, we can interact together to generate the good and happy atmosphere in this place. And then I hope... This is another, you know, the purpose, the second purpose of uh, me doing this, you know, thoughts for the night. I want to see this gathering is growing into some sort of community. Community of 20, community of 10, community of, you know, 30. It doesn't really matter. As long as we can remember each other, we can pray for each other, we can share the positive energy each other. This morning, um, sometime in the um, um, not morning, um, sometime in the um, um, the morning afternoon ish, I received an email from a member of this gathering. Um, her name is Janet Gibson, and many of you will know her. And she is a member of this, you know, church congregation here. And then she. Um, asked me whether she could send me a, um, a reflection, short reflection. So I said, yeah, why not? Because this is our community work, and then I wanted to, um, I'm more than happy to engage with you in this way. So she sent me a very short reflection, and then this short reflection tells us what our guest, <laughs> Darth Vader, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, um, mentioned. You know, the sense of fear and being lonely. But he, she also, the Janet also mentions you know, something about hope for the peace. I'm going to read this um, to all of you tonight before I say the short prayer. Many of us are facing uncertainty at this time. Loss of earnings, the threat of contagion, social isolation. With places of worship closed, there is nowhere to turn to for support. God of compassion, bring comfort to us all. Calm our fears 
and help us to know your peace, that peace which surpasses all understanding. Thank you, Janet, for this wonderful reflection. And I'm sure our prayers will give you an answer. And then I think um, that tonight I'd like to um, light a candle for those who share this fear and loneliness. It might be you or it might be someone whom you know. We're going to keep them in our heart. I'm going to light a candle for them. Shall we pray? O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness, through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. Enlighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. So, my brothers and sisters, um, I would say good night to all of you. And then as our guest um, reminded us, stay at home unless you need to go. You must go out. Please stay at home. And then I want to celebrate Christmas with all of you. So please stay at home and stay safe. And then please don't forget to keep the sense of joy and sense of hope and sense of kind of, you know, being together. We are all connected now. We're all praying for each other. May God bless you all. And I'm going to see you tomorrow night. Bye. Good night.